I saw this um, bank front end um, is a front end you can use for any banking website and the rest and I love it so what I'm going to do I'm going to teach you how to clone this front end then I'm going to use my advanced banking script for it so um, just watch this tutorial to the end I will be teaching you step by step so first of all I've copied the code yeah now I've copied my code um, to convert um, to clone the website so I've copied it then I'm there on my CMD so I just cloned the script this front end look at it I've cloned it I've already cloned it so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to my local disk then um, check the cloned um, stuff I've um, done uh, let me check the name I think the name is um, Mastref okay so I'll look for Mastref that I cloned okay this is it Mastref here yeah. The, this is it so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back then i'm going to zip this all right i'm done zipping it i'll go to my website i'll go to my cpanel and install this um front end i've created a subfolder for it here so what i'm going to do i'm going to upload this front end now after uploading this front end i'm going to install my own back end to it and i'm going to reference it to it so just watch this tutorial to the end all right so i'm here so i just click on upload then I'm just going to upload that verify. Come to look at this. Come to look at this. Come to user. Come to this place. I'll scroll down and search for that zip file. That is it. So I'm just going to upload it. So once it is done uploading, I'm going to extract it and we should have our front end site. Then I'll click on go back. Then I'll click here and I'm going to extract this. I started like this so I'm done so I'll reload and I'll delete this because I don't need it anymore I'll delete it then here's my main file so I'm just going to move it to my main folder which is bank then I'll go back and I'll delete this folder now I've gotten my front end so let's check our front end and let's see how it looks like bunko slash bank then I do this my front end should come live okay let's see where we are doing mistake let's see where we are doing mistake I think we are doing mistake somewhere okay um I have index demo one index demo two so we need to have one index so I'm going to delete this two then I'm going to um change this to index.html because it needs to read the index file then once I'm done I'll come back to this place and I should have my website up and running. Now we've done the front end. Like I said, anybody can do the front end. So the most important aspect now is your back end. So now that you've gotten your front end, let's now go and install our back end. Now I'm going to be using a professional banking script for the back end. Um, it is professional. So if you are in need of the uh, back end script or the entire script, just check the comment section. You'll see our WhatsApp number. Then just send us a message on WhatsApp. Or you can send us a mail now this is the front end of the site i think this is beautiful yeah this is beautiful so with cloning i was able to clone this i didn't build it i just cloned it so now i'm going to reference this login to our back end and this sign up to our back end so let me go and install our back end yeah now on our back end i'll just i've uploaded my uploaded my back end i'm just going to extract the file now i'm done extracting the file i'll reload and I am done. So this is the file. I'll I'll delete this zip file here. Now this is where our file is account. So now if you want to reference it, it will now be bunkobrazil.com slash bank slash account. So this slash account will now represent our back end. Will now represent our back end. Now the next thing we are going to do, we are going to install um upload the database. So I've created my, my database. Then what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to click on um, choose a password. Then I'll retype the same password here. And I'm done. So the next thing is to click on create user. Then once you are done creating user, you need to add all privilege there. 
then click on make changes yeah so now copy your username and your pass and your password so we come back to this place on our account so i'm just going to reload this place so that it will reflect now we want to connect our database we want to connect our database now if you get this script from us the uh, installation process is there we've placed the installation process so you need to come to this digital forest this uh, folder and you open it then you see db connect click on the db connect here now the database username and password that you created you have to replace it here so you put it here your database username and this and um the same thing here you put it here also and your username also then your password you put your password the same thing here now you make sure the name of the site is changed so i'm just going to call this demo banking then you put the name and the URL of the site. The URL of the site is slash bank. Then you make sure the address of the site is there. So I'm going to just call this. This is a demo site. Now you put the address, maybe United States. And you put the phone number. Anything you want to use as a phone number is what you put there. So I'm just going to use this as a phone number. Then you put the email address. So I'm just going to leave this as, as the email address. And just leave every other thing like that every other thing is okay so the next you are going to do here you're going to click on save changes now once you've clicked on save changes we need to go and upload that database let's go back to this place and we type php my admin and let's go and upload that database so once your php my admin has, has loaded so you locate your database name created you click on import then we are going to import our SQL file because without our SQL file, some of our um, back end functionality will not be possible. So, once you're there, you just upload your back end script. Now we've connected our DB. So, if you connect your database very well, it should take you to this place. It should take you to this place. Now everything is working very fine. You can log in for the user um, account and the rest. So let me just log into the user dashboard so that you see how the user dashboard looks like. All right, so I'm going to log into the user dashboard so that you see how the user dashboard looks like. Now, um, this is how the user dashboard looks like. So this is where all the transactions will appear. Any transaction you make, this is where the transactions will appear. So we have legal transfer, we have international transfer and other um, stuff that is there. So take for instance, I want to transfer a fund. I'll just click on local transfer. Then I can fill in names like this. Uh, maybe take for instance, um, this is Kenny. Then I put account number here. Then I put the bank uh, name. Take for instance, then transfer type, it could be checking. Then the amount I want to transfer. Then you can put a description. Now, when you uh, initiate a transfer, it's going to send an OTP. Um, let's use this Kenny Rogers. Then, once you hit transfer, it's going to um, send an o a one time OTP to your email address for further verification. So, once you click proceed, it's going to send the email. It's going to send the OTP to your email. So, for the purpose of this video, I am going to screenshot the email and have it. Um, shown on this video so that you see that yes it's really working so the essence of this is for to really show if you are the one that really um initiated the transfer so once you initiate um you put the code it is going to process and it's going to generate an invoice for you i have received my code so i'm just going to impute the code here so that we can proceed Now my code is 430550. Then I'm going to click verify OTP. So I'm going to screenshot the code and I'm going to put it on this video so that you see it. 
then once you are done you verify once you verify it's going to generate an invoice for you to show that the transaction went through so this is the invoice you get so the system works fine and it's very cool like i said if you need a script just um send a dm and i will send the script for you so now let's move to um the admin dashboard so i'm, I'm just going to go back and log into the admin dashboard so that we'll see how the admin dashboard work so this is the admin dashboard so if you want to create an account for a, a client or a customer so you click on this create account here and it's going to you know this from the place you create an account and everything so it automatically generates an account number for you then if you want to update a client image you click on this um, client image here you click on this client image here to update any client image you want to update then if you want to credit clients you click on credit now the good thing is if you if you credit a, a client they receive email notification if you debit them they receive email notification um, you can also create a transfer for them and the rest so um, this is how the system work if you need a script you do we are just a DM away just um, reach out to us and get the script